Aam Admi Party. Uh, very good morning to Saurabh. I'm sure you've been listening to that ongoing debate between Atishi and R.P. Singh. Now, uh, the main question that is being asked uh, by the BJP is, where, you know, what is the accounting for the money trail? What about that 144 crore rebate that you, rece uh, that you received? You know, that seems to be the main point of contention. CBI का स्वागत करते हैं। CBI के और एजेंसीज बहुत सारी हैं प्रधानमंत्री जी के पास ED है, इनकम टैक्स है, सब का स्वागत है। ये कोई पहली बार नहीं हुआ कि CBI का केस दर्ज किया गया है। CBI के छापे पहले भी मारे गए हैं। मुख्यमंत्री कार्यालय तक में छापे मारे गए। उपमुख्यमंत्री के यहाँ पहले CBI जा चुकी है। सवाल ये मिला क्या? अब तक किसी केस में अगर कुछ मिला हो, तो ये बताएं जब छापा पड़ता है सीबीआई जाती है हर जगह खबर चलती है हर जगह सवाल उठते हैं बीजेपी वालों को मौका मिल जाता है भ्रष्टाचारी कहने का मगर निकलता कुछ नहीं है आज देश के लिए एक बहुत बड़ा दिन था अमेरिका के सबसे बड़े अखबार न्यूयॉर्क टाइम्स में फ्रंट पेज पे पहले पन्ने पे भारत देश के दिल्ली शहर के शिक्षा मॉडल की चर्चा हुई है उसके अंदर मनीष शिशोदिया जी का एक फोटो छपा है पहले पेज पे और पूरे देश के पूरी दुनिया के भारतीयों के अंदर इतनी अच्छी फीलिंग है कि आज देश का नाम अमेरिका के अंदर रोशन हो रहा है और देश में क्या हो रहा है प्रधानमंत्री जी उसी शिक्षा मंत्री जिसकी शिक्षा का डंका पूरे संसार में बज रहा है प्रधानमंत्री जी ने उस शिक्षा मंत्री के घर सीबीआई भेज दी है उसके यहाँ छापा मारा ये बहुत दुर्भाग्यपूर्ण है भ्रष्टाचार की बात भारतीय जनता पार्टी आज पूरे दिन करेगी क्योंकि छापा मारा ही इसलिए जाता है सवाल ये उठता है गुजरात के अंदर शराब बंदी है सैकड़ों लोग जहरीली नकली शराब से मर रहे हैं गुजरात के हर गांव के अंदर और हर शहर के अंदर फोन करो शराब उपलब्ध है इतना बड़ा नेटवर्क चल रहा है आपने कभी सुना कि सी और ईडी की जाँच हो रही हो छापे पड़े हो नहीं होगी क्योंकि वो भारतीय जनता पार्टी के लोग हैं गुजरात गोइंग क्रॉस माय कॉलीग रूपेशी नंदा फॉर मोर ऑन दिस रूपेशी कमिंग टू द लिकर सिचुएशन इन दिल्ली इज इट ट्रू दैट करेंटली देयर इज अ शॉर्टेज बिकॉज़ ऑफ दिस होल कंफ्यूजन ओवर द पॉलिसी इन फैक्ट द ओल्ड पॉलिसी इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू बी फेज्ड आउट इन जस्ट अ फ्यू डेज नाउ एंड द न्यू वन इंप्लीमेंटेड एंड दैट सीम्स टू बी अ रियल पॉइंट ऑफ कंटेंशन फॉर बोथ द पार्टीज well, uh, as far as uh, shortage of uh, liquor is uh, concerned, uh, there is no uh, such acute shortage of liquor that uh, would cause uh, people to line up in front of queues or uh, would cause a law and order situation. Remember, the old excise policy of the Aam Aadmi Party's uh, government was given an extension and that was done after uh, the Aam Aadmi Party's government itself uh, proposed uh, to extend the same uh, policy by one more month uh, so that uh, the uh, situation in Delhi does not deteriorate as far as the liquor, uh, liquor is concerned. Remember, during the COVID times when there was a shutdown, when liquor shops actually opened, you saw huge uh, queues in uh, front of those uh, shops and even stampedes happening. Uh, so that ex uh, proposal for extension of, for the, of the liquor policy was sent to the Lieutenant Governor's office and the Lieutenant Governor himself has, uh, had agreed to that, uh, saying that there was uh, essentially no other way out and they, uh, the Lieutenant Governor also said that he wants to prevent a law and order situation over here. Now what is the bone of contention over here? The bone of contention is two. Number one, there has been a loss to the Exchequer that the Aam Aadmi Party's government also admits in its cabinet note and number two is the allegation of quid pro quo. Uh, that is something that the uh, courts will have to prove when the, court, when the case actually goes uh, to the court. Now it has taken a serious uh, turn now because as our colleagues are reporting, Manish Sisodia has also been named in the FIR. Now our Madhvi party uh, sources were, uh, uh, leadership was essentially looking at whether a preliminary inquiry report will be, fi uh, uh, will, uh, will be filed, whether an FIR will be filed and whether he will be named as an accused. Now when that has happened, the, definitely the matter has taken a mu much more serious uh, uh, turn. Now number two, the, the uh, the uh, crisis for the Ahmadi Party's government over here is that its health minister, or former health minister, Satyendra Jain, is already in jail, and Manish Sisodia, who is the deputy chief minister, was also handling the portfolios that were handled by uh, uh, the health minister, who also handled home, who also handled PWD. Now, the uh, essentially party's top leadership is looking at whether Sisodia is going to be arrested today. They are very uh, aware of the fact that it is a very st there is a very strong possibility that uh, that Manish Sisodia could also uh, be arrested today. Now, if that happens, then who are 
who is the other person who is going to take charge of all these portfolios because work has to continue. Now, in its defense, uh, what has the Aam Aadmi Party said? The Aam Aadmi Party, in fact, Manish Sisodia, after the lieutenant governor actually gave the go-ahead for the CBI probe, Sisodia also held a press conference and he has clearly said that all the changes or recommendations for changes uh, to the excise policy were sent to the, left, the then lieutenant governor, Mr. Anil Bejal, not once but twice. And in that, whatever changes the lieutenant governor then suggested, that is Mr. Bejal suggested, was incorporated. In that, it was never mentioned that uh, uh, liquor shops cannot open in unauthorized areas. However, just two days before the liquor shops was ab were about to open and license had, licenses had already been distributed, uh, the then uh, uh, Lieutenant Governor Anil Bajal okay. changed his stand and see, said that... Stay uh, with uh, us. Uh, You're bringing us a lot of details and we do want to go back to that. But for now, let me go across...